Hello, Brenton with All Out Octane here. In this video, I'm gonna open up some 2019 Hot Wheels F case cars. And you can tell that they're F case based on when you flip them over. The last letter of the card, as you can see up at the top, there's the, the peg holder and it has, the last letter is F. So that indicates that this is an F case car. So I was able to find a majority of the F case cars. I haven't found all of the E case or F case cars yet, so there will probably be another video coming where I go over most of those. Um, so I'm gonna just get jump right into it. This one is the 2017 Jeep Wrangler, and this is in like a metallic silver. There it is. It has a blue and red stripe there on the back and a top tampo as well. This is a good looking Jeep. Almost has like a BMW-esque type look to it. It's pretty cool nonetheless. All right, and we're gonna jump into the 2018 Ford Mustang GT in orange. This is part of the Speed Blur series. This has proven to be quite a nice series thus far this year. The Speed Blur has turned into probably one of my favorites. There's gonna be a couple other Speed Blur cars in this opening, but there we go, the side tampo, top tampo, and no rears, but this is a nice looking car, gray rims. Um, those actually look kind of new. I don't know if those are new rims or not, but they're they're pretty cool. So yeah, there's the, the Mustang. We're just gonna keep right on along. We got Rip Rod, and it's part of the, the Hot Wheels Game Over series, HW Game Over. It's a pretty cool looking little vehicle. There it is up close. It's got the side tampo, uh, metal bottom, which is always kind of nice. So yeah, there we go, Rip Rod. We have winning, winning Formula in white. I don't know if these are, I believe these are glow in the dark tires. Normally they indicate the green on the package and then the tires that are white, that kind of indicates that it is a glow in the dark. Top tampo, this is a plastic base metal body. So there you go. Then we have the street wiener or street winner. <laughs> I know it's not, it's, it says wiener, I get it. But uh, there we go. This is kind of a cool car. This one's got hot dogs on the side. The back spoiler is kind of like the grill where that kind of closes. And the front is a spatula. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna move up the row on this one. We have part of the Speed Blur series, the HW50 Concept. And I, don't, I think the real story on the cars is they tried to get it complete and they never did. So I think that's why it's just the concept. Uh, I guess you can look that story up. I guess there's a story and history behind this car in real life, apparently. I'm not entirely sure, but it does have a plastic base. This is a metal body. There's a lot of intricate parts here. One thing I do appreciate, I'll make a quick note, is I like all four large tires. That, to me, is awesome. I wish they did that with these formula cars, which will be something I'm gonna get into. A viewer asked to go through some indie cars that I have, and I will be doing that video. I have a, I'm planning that right now. It's in the planning process, but that's one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves is that it doesn't have large tires all the way around. But this one does, that is cool. All right, some of my favorite trucks are tow trucks. This is the new for 2019 heavy hitter. There it is in the package. So let's open this thing up and it says it has a special feature. So let's see what that special feature is. I'm guessing that it goes up and down. Maybe, yeah, I guess that's it, that it goes up and down. Although, wouldn't like Shark Bite and the uh, Head Start and all that be that as well? I'm not entirely sure. Metal metal base, plastic up top. It's a, it's a tow truck, it's pretty cool. All right, so let's move right along. We've got the Mountain Muller, one of my favorite castings. Uh, these things are really cool to watch. If you go online and you search just like sand rails or sand climbing, 
Um, these things are really cool to watch climb sand hills. Sounds kind of strange, but it's true. And it's cool to have these as part of the Hot Wheels collection to kind of keep one of those in the collection. So we, next we have a 32 Ford in uh, black with gold accents. It's kind of a matte black, it's part of the Rod Squad. And four of 10, I actually don't even know how many other cars are in this. I should check into that. So there we go, matte black. It's a good looking, good looking Ford. It has the steely wheels. All right, so here's a really cool one. We have King Kuda in the Urban Outlaw livery. So yeah, let's open this thing up. Magnus Walker, Urban Outlaw. We've seen it on a lot of Porsches and Volkswagens thus far, but now we have it on a King Kuda. And that is a very highly detailed car. As far as tampos go, it's got a top and sides, probably because there's no rear, which would make sense. But yeah, there we go. That is a very good looking car. Well done, well done. All right, let's move up this row as well. We've got the 2015 Land Rover Defender Double Cab in orange, so it's a newer color, part of the Baja Blazer series. We'll go ahead and open that up. There it is, in orange. Pretty cool. This is actually probably my favorite color. That and the, the very dark gray. That Those two have been my favorite colors thus far. So, there it is. Side tempo, top tempo, no rears. Good looking vehicle. All right, let's move on to the HW race day where we have the SRT Viper GTSR. So this is the racing version of the Viper. In blue, good looking car, has the number five on it, which I'll show you here in a second, on the hood. So there it is, number five. Has five on the sides. No rear tampos. I like the large back tires. They did well with this casting. Um, I, I'm trying to put together some other ideas for some other videos. So this might show up in another video. We'll find out. I have to get to some other videos first. I'm just glad I was able to find some of these cars to make another video for you all. So now we have the Lamborghini Countach police car. And this kind of fits nicely with the with the Porsche that's going to be coming up. So we've seen this one in red and white thus far. Now we have it in black. And this reminds me of a car from the 90s. So their tempo usage is pretty cool. It's, uh, I guess police cars are kind of hard to find different liveries for. But they did well with this one. I think this one's probably my favorite thus far. All right, and then we'll go to, oops, have these on the table and there they fall off. Um, we've got the Bone Shaker and this is part of the HW Game Over series. This one's in red, has a big three on the side. Uh, steely wheels, gold around the rims. It's a pretty good looking vehicle. Bone shakers are always very popular, so it's nice to see. All right, so let's get to this one. This one's pretty cool. Ford, Ford Focus RS in green, part of the Nightburners. Nightburners is always a hot part of the collection. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's got a top tempo, it's got side tempos. I would imagine then it has no rears. I do like the RS casting. Um, this is, I believe, the newer RS casting. Because you can tell by the front. The other casting has a little bit different of a front. And that was part of the off-road series, or the rally, rally car series was the other RS. So, yeah, those are kind of fun. All right, let's look at Diaper Driver. Kind of a cool car to pick up. It's a uh, part of the Ride Along series, although I don't know where the, the Ride Along part comes in at. So I don't see where the character could hang on. Maybe it sits, maybe that's what it is. Uh, just side tampos on this one. Kind of looks like a rail drag from back in the day. Pretty pretty retro, kind of cool. There was a diaper car or a baby car similar to that in the 90s, 99, 2000. All right, so now we have the Porsche 917 LH in blue. There we go, Hot Wheels Race Day. So we've seen this one in the Gulf livery, white and blue Gulf livery. This is a dark blue now. Pretty cool car. 
it'd be cool to see more of the premium Porsche race cars come come out. Um, Hot Wheels does have a casting, and it's the older Porsche. There it is, the older Porsche. I'd love to see this one retooled and remade. This would be fantastic. That would just be a really cool car to see. All right, let's get to it. Mercedes, Mercedes-Benz Unimog, 1300. So it's the rally one. I believe this is part of the hot, oh, this is a Hot Wheels trucks, hot trucks. So this is in blue. We've seen this in red. So let's get scooting. There we go. In blue, side tampos. Top tampo on the hood. Pretty cool. This is a nice vehicle. I've enjoyed the first casting. Oh, now we have the second one. All right, this one is awesome. I am a huge fan of Cadillacs. So now we have the custom 53 Cadillac. And this one does, I noticed it has like a little, almost like a soapbox derby car in it, or maybe an RC type of car. Judging by a Cadillac, it's probably a soapbox car, but who knows? Yep, there it is, sitting in the back. There's the side tampos, top tampos. This would be a, an amazing vehicle to own in real life, but it is just so nice to have in die cast, so I'm glad to have it. They did well with that one. All right, let's go to Hot Wheels Rescue. The 71 Porsche 911 in green. It kind of has a... What is it? I believe it's the German, right? German police force? Well, actually, this, and nowadays, this is almost like the Dubai police force with the green and white, but I believe it's based off of the German one. German police force. Top tampo on the hood, side tampos, no rear, no front. Great looking car, though. All right, let's go with the Hollinator. And you're probably wondering why did I pick up some of these cars? Um, I've been noticing making videos I have some more ideas and it's nice to have a larger collection of cars. So if you are always wondering why some YouTubers open up these cars or uh, buy a bunch of random cars, it's probably that reason. It's, it's not a bunch of a library of cars in a collection, but Hollander is always fun. I like, again, tow trucks and this one has the extendable base. So you can put a large variety of stuff on it. Side tempos, no top, no rear, probably because of the moving base. So yeah, so let's put the, let's put the Unimog on it. It'll fit. Yep. All right. So now we have Surf and Turf in purple. It's a cool little wagon to have. I believe it came out in red and blue. Now it's in purple. I like the matte purple. It's pretty cool. There we go. There it is. So matte purple. Blower up top. Nice little casting. Huge rear wheels. That's also fun. I like large rear wheels. All right. So we have Track Manga or manga, track manga. I gotta get that right. Part of the Speed Blur series. I might have already opened this car. I really cannot remember. Uh, I've, I'm trying to track down another car that I think I have and I can't find it. So <laughs> I used to know my collection pretty well, but now it's uh, getting kind of tough. Daily life has got me a little stressed out. So I'm trying to figure out all the cars that I have. So there we got side tempo, top tempo. Uh, kind of reminds me of Suki's car from Fast and Furious or Too Fast Too Furious. We have another Speed Blur car. We have the Rise and Climb in red. I really like the graphics on this one. And I'll, I'll show you these here. So there are the tampos on it. And that has a fantastic tampo. Top, sides. Um, it just, it looks really cool. They did really well with the rims on this one. These almost look like new rims too. But yeah, this is a great looking casting um, with this tampo on it. The, the, this did well. That was part of the Hot Wheels, I believe, 50th series. So here's probably the best one of the bunch, is the Land Rover Series 3 pickup in red. Yes. Uh, it does have a tire in the back, so it's not, a, it's not a blank bed, but it does, it's almost blank. You could still put cool stuff in there. But it has a white top onto it, it has front tampos. That's the, the piece de resistance. Front tampo and some rear tampo. I know it's very primitive, very basic, but it's very clean. Oh, it's a great truck. If you guys find this one, well worth having. Uh, plastic base, very plain even on the bottom. They did really well with this one. All right, so this was kind of a long enough video. I'm gonna actually open up the exotics on another video. So stay tuned for that one. 
Uh, and I'll, I'll review those here in a little bit more in depth. Until then, happy hunting!